and welcome to SGN Tech Forum. As a network engineer, you may have felt a need to have access to the test bed or build something really quick and test your uh, your uh, protocol understanding or set up a quick lab and verify a few things, right? But one of the major uh, roadblock for that is having access to the devices or the latest software, right? So in this video, I'm going to introduce you to a to a way to overcome those difficulties and that is a network simulation tool from cisco called cisco modeling labs or cml right as mentioned here it's a, a premier platform for network simulation with an easy to use html5 ui that means you have a web ui interface where you can build your lab and at the same time you have comprehensive api support right so let's quickly uh, see what are the option or what is the offering so here you can watch the video but anyways we are going to do the install and set up a uh, lab very quickly today in this video so let's skip and understand what is cml and what are the different categories of cml for single users or your personal use you have two work, uh, categories personal and personal plus and as you can see the mostly the difference between these are uh, number of nodes you can add for personal you can have 20 node top topology versus in personal plus you have double of that that's 40 all right for enterprise there is a version of enterprise cml that means multiple users can use it you can use it for your team it ships with default 20 node but you can add additional license to uh, unlock it for 300 nodes all right and and interestingly you have uh, tax support for this so it is very interesting all right so how to get started with cml you can once you decide uh, to use CML and purchase the license, then what you can do, you can go to this CML modeling lab documentation. And I am putting a link in the description so that you can read it yourself. But while we are here, there are two options you can install CML CML as VM and CML as bare metal. Let's go back to personal and enterprise one more time. So, in enterprise, I want to highlight something that you have the cluster support that means you can deploy a cluster of cml uh, servers that is available in enterprise but for your personal use you can do all in one so be aware of that so once you decide to install cml uh, whichever uh, version you want to do or whichever way you want to do in our case we are going to install cml stand uh, standalone all in one on a ESXi. So click on that link, download the software. Within software, when you go to download, you need to be aware that there are two packages or two software files you need to download. The first is OVA format, which is, as you can see here, we have the ESXi de uh, deployment OVA software. And at the same time, you need to deploy RefPlat ISO. So think of it, this is like a database of all the ios xc and etc versus this is your actual server so you need to have both of these software downloaded to install it as a vm and that is being mentioned here now let me show you licensing so you have different type of licensing option when you are in personal you can do, do what and if you are using enterprise then you can use your smart account and virtual account and have a license installed in that uh, smart account from that smart account you can create a token and use that token on cml server to register with a cssm and that's what essentially we are going to do in our video all right with that i think we are good to go ahead and install this so i have this video here from my last install and i'm going to walk you through what's going on here so i have created uh, my vm and the cpu memory etc you need to refer to the latest documentation to see what cpu and memory you have to reserve what i'm showing you here for cd dvd option you need to have that refplat iso uploaded on iso data store and then you need to connect that as a cd dvd derived because when you boot up your VM, 
it is going to copy everything from refplat. So here, as you can see in first step, we have powered on the VM except uh, licensing agreement. Now it is saying that you have uh, you have to enable these ports and etc. So you have two options to access. One is 9090 and another is 443. 443 is essentially your web UI versus 9090 is administrator where you can do Linux like administration. So I am putting it here for some time so that you can read. Let's go to the next. Here are some brief options like while uh, uh, installation, some shortcut, what you need to know. Please give it a read. And then two interfaces are required for clustering. And we are not doing clustering, so we are good. We are going to do a CML standalone install. So one interface, network interface is enough. Enter this system a unique host name. Give it a host name that makes sense in your environment. CML controller is a default host name. And then you have to define two username. One is sysadmin and another is admin. Sysadmin is for your port 9090 versus admin is for port 443. So make sure you uh, define the right uh, 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 strong password. Then how you want to specify IP address to the network interface for the CML server. I happen to choose static. So give your static uh, or DHCP IP address. And then now it is saying that it is going to perform a copy of all the ISO from refplat to the VM disk, and it is going to take 10 minutes to complete. So we'll start this, and you can see this copy will start. You can take a break and come back. I'm going to edit or skip that part. So as, that's why we can see we are moving really fast, almost 91% to save some time. And once you are at 100%, it will give you this banner where it says that you can go to a CTPS IP address colon 9090 to log into the administrative or Linux like screen. And obviously, there is no certificate assigned. That's why you're seeing this error or warning message. I am fine with that. Port 9090 is username sysadmin. Try to log in with the password you set up. And here you can see you can do all the system maintenance control, right? It's kind of like all your server level capabilities are here. This is not related to what you you want to do as a user, but is more like uh, as a system administrator, what all you can do. This is your screen as a user. That's on 443. So admin and use the password what you created. For when you try to log in first time, you will see this uh, banner and walkthrough banner that will help you guide through how to use CML. You can all also reach out to this uh, web developer forum and ask question. Here you can see, help us improve this product. So CML will collect and send anonymized use information to Cisco system. What if you want to know what telemetry information we are sending, here it is, it's a complete disclaimer. And right now we are just sending license info. So Cisco is very transparent to tell you upfront that there is a telemetry data being collected and it will be uploaded to uh, Cisco. All right, let me show you uh, here. You can see at the diagnostic, you have other options like licensing, etc. We'll come back to that. Let's try to add our first node. Welcome to CML. So this is kind of like a, a banner walkthrough. It will help you familiarize a few important thing, how you can add node. So you can click on that icon and then you can drag and put it in a workspace. That's how you add your node to workspace or canvas. And then you can extend the uh, pan, uh, panes below so that you can log in to system uh, console or you can look at the system uh, level uses like CPU, memories, etc. All right, let me go ahead and add one node here. Another node. And these are the nodes all available here. You can see we have server, we have traffic simulator, we have Linux Ubuntu PCs, so all, all those things. 
you can grab from there and then you can move around you can rearrange them you can draw a line you can draw a circle and then so i'm just going through each icon one at a time so that you can see what they are once you click on node you will see the node related information right now the nodes are powered off that's why uh, there is no cpu uses but you can select the node and then you can change the node name you can look at the image definition that what is the image it is using so right now it's using 1713 which is fairly new right so all those things you can see right now in configuration we just have one default configuration which is a host name and we have four interfaces by default gig one to gig four you can right click and say add link and then you can choose the interfaces which you want to connect so right now it is connected to gig one versus uh, to directly to gig two now let's start this node starting node failed licensing issue system is not licensed obviously this is a fresh install and as soon as i installed i want to use them but you can see we cannot add we can add node but we can start cannot start the node because it is in unregistered uh, format or it's in unregistered so base so let's look at uh, transport setting that means direct so this system or server can reach in uh, cssm directly that's what i want to license this server so choose the license pick a license what is relevant to you for me it's enterprise license because i know the license is sitting in my smart account so what you need here you need product instance registration token and from where you can get that you can get that from your smart account so if you are be, if your server is behind proxy change the transport mode for me it is good it has direct connectivity to internet so what i'm going to do next i am going to create a registration token and bring those token here to register my cml instance with cssm So now I'm going to go to Cisco Software Manager. Click on Manage Licenses. Go to your smart account, your virtual account, and you can see I have a license already sitting in my virtual account. So what I need, I need a token. Just give it a, some description so that you, you may, time on time, you uh create multiple tokens so at least with description you know why you created this token in first place so we have a token and you can have one token use multiple time but i just want it use once so that's why i said use only one and now come back here click on register token paste the token and say register now this cml server is going to reach out to cssm server and you can see license authorization status is authorized and i can see my license duration so you may have one year three year five year or seven year licenses please check your duration and now at this point of time since we are authorized we are licensed we should be able to start our nodes so we have done server install we have licensed the server and now we can create connect and start the node you can right click and say log into console because obviously once you start your node you want to go ahead and configure that so right click and say open console open console and in the bottom pane you can see the, your device booting because you are connected to the console essentially so you can see all the boot logs once it has boot uh, booted properly you can do a show install just to show you what version we are running what is the um, software or hardware type, type looks like and from here on you are good to go ahead and uh, 
uh, configure your nodes to create a, a network a scenario or test something so this is all you need you can see you can go ahead and stop you can also extract the configuration you can delete the configuration like wipe all so final thing from the server perspective i want to show you that once you have your vm powered up booted and you are using it properly now you can go ahead and disconnect the ref flat iso it is already disconnected but double check if it is not connected uh, if it is still connected go ahead and disconnect that so i hope you are uh, you enjoyed uh, the CML install and you are excited to get one for yourself. Uh, this is useful tool because we are going to use it more and more often for when we start our routing bootcamp. So I'll see you in next exciting video. Please like, subscribe and share. Thank you.